All right, this is our exit ticket A, Ed Puzzle. And so you're filling in your exit ticket A, you're reminding yourself of what distribution means. Okay, so we're gonna take this over to a sample first. So distribution means to distribute or to pass out. So an example might be that you have three friends and they're all hanging out at your house and you have a plate of cookies. And you have all these cookies on the plate, but you wanna give them out to each friend. So we're gonna give three cookies to this friend and three cookies to this friend and three cookies to this friend. So we have distributed three cookies per person. So remember, there were three friends standing at your house and you were giving them three cookies and you distributed one to each person. So that's really three times three or three times to each person, right? So three to him, three to him, three to him. And that means you handed out nine cookies in total. So notice how I'm showing you that I gave three to this person and three to this person and three to this person. And then I'm adding it all up. There were three cookies and I added it to three cookies and I added it to three per cookies. And I got that I passed out nine cookies. So that's what distribute means. So let's go apply it to our algebra. So instead of friends, in my group, I have a seven plus an X and I need to distribute this five to each piece, okay? So let's take it step by step. We're gonna say that I'm giving, I'm distributing the five to the seven. So that's five times seven. And then I have to write my plus sign. And then I have to distribute my five to my X. So that's five times X. So now I'm just gonna write what I have. Five times seven is 35. And then I have five times X, which is five X. And then I just wanna remember standard form. Standard form says put your variables first, put your constants at the end. So this is my final answer. So let's go ahead and try it again. This time I'm distributing a six to this two N. So that's really six times two times that N. And then look at my sign. I have a minus sign. So I'm gonna say six times three. That's 18. Okay, so let's simplify. Six times two is 12 and there's N's. There's 12 N's, remember those are shapes, minus 18. And that's my final answer. But I do wanna show you one other thing because those positives and negatives can be tricky. And so when I see this minus three, I think to myself, okay, well minus three really means that I'm adding a negative three. And I like it to have those addition signs so that when I distribute, I still get that 12N and I write my plus, but then I see, oh, it's a six times a negative three. That's a negative number. And I can go ahead and then say, oh, I don't leave two symbols, so I'm gonna write it as a negative 18. But when I do this plus negative three piece, it helps me to distribute negatives correctly. So let's try it over here. I have this negative that has to be distributed inside. Well, what is it? It's really a negative one. We just don't write ones. So distribute a negative one times a four means a negative one times the four times the X. And then I have this plus, and then I have negative one times five. So I have negative one times four, negative four, and they are X's. Plus I have a negative one times a five, which is a negative five. And now I'm just gonna simplify because look, I don't like to keep two symbols next to each other. So that really means negative four X minus five, and that's my final answer. So as I look at number four, I see a negative four here that has to get distributed, but I see this minus. So I'm gonna change that to plus and make this a negative two. 
So now I'm taking negative four and I'm multiplying it times that 10. Then I'm adding it plus sign and I do a negative four times a negative two is a positive eight x. So negative four times 10 is negative 40 plus eight x, but I want standard form. So I'm gonna rearrange it with my x's first. So it's eight x minus 40 and that's my final answer. Okay, so you wanna use this and help yourself with 5.2 quiz B.